through sacrifice. Touch your neighbor, say, neighbor, success through sacrifice. Shout it again, say, neighbor, through my sacrifice in the kingdom of God in 2019, I will surely succeed. First of all, one of the things you must have to know as a child of God is that every day you must have what? A plan. Somebody say a plan. I didn't hear you. Somebody say a plan. Something happened here last year. I don't know if anybody can remember. I was to preach in January like this. And I told you that as you are here in January, the year is already ended. I don't know if anybody remember that. Because nothing is still fresh on my memory, on my head. And I said, this month of January, by next week, will finish. Then you enter February, March. The year is over. Now, if you do not have a plan from the beginning of the year, forget it. The problem so many of us are having is that every beginning of the year, there is no plan in your life, there is no physical plan, there is no spiritual plan, and at the end of the day, what you will end up doing at the middle of the year is running from one church to what? To another. And you don't know running from one church to another is a disgrace to anybody who is child of God. The only thing you need to know is to discover where I, I am. Is God truly there? If God is there, if you are still running to another church seeking God, my question is, do we have more than a God? We have only one word. We have only one God. So if God wants to answer you, hear me, he will answer you in that altar you go to. Even if you live here or live another church and run to this place and the church you were going before, God is there. If you come here, it's the same one, God. You see, that thing that has made you not God, uh, for God not to answer you, we still want to that God will not answer you here. If you're truly a child of God, even in your bedroom, God will do what? I didn't hear you. Even in your bedroom, God will do what? And that is the reason why this year you must have to make a decision that will change your life. As I'm talking to you, some of us now have not gotten any plan for the year. What is your plan for the year? You, at the beginning of the year, you started complaining. You started crying. You started doing this. No plan. Let me tell you, you cannot execute anything when there is no plan. When you bring an execution, it's because there is a plan you have laid down already. You want to be a big man, a big woman. No plan for business. You have not even thought about how you can manage 50,000 to start something little. Instead of you to put a plan to execute, you are waiting for when you have 2 million for you to start going to China like your neighbor. You will remain poor. And one of the problems people are having in life is that they overlook the spiritual factor. Education is very good, but I've discovered that you might equally be so much educated and your bias are behind in the spiritual factor, you might not be rich. It is God that calls who he calls into the office for you to be wealthy. It is God that makes it rich. And I don't know what. No sorrow. So, the spiritual factor should be your number one factor. How do I seek the face of God? How would this year go for me? Where am I going to go? What am I going to do? How do I lay my head this year? How do God take control of everything I should do? If there is no spiritual foundation for you on the year, the year will end with a barbaric story. Hear me. When I look back in 2018, I can testify that God was with me. If you are a child of God, be ready to face challenges. It's only children of God that faces challenges so much. Let me even tell you the truth. If anybody tells you because you are a worker, if anybody tells you because you are a minister of God, if anybody tells you because you contribute to the house of God, that you are not going to face the challenge, that person is your enemy, run away from him or her. 
If Satan could not fear God himself, who came and has the glory of his son, Jesus, and decided to go to him, then who are you that Satan will not come to you? But let me tell you, there is something you must put in your mind this year. That every challenge that comes to you is a situation God has created to promote you. Can I get a share back to that? If you can see the situation you are into as a situation God allowed for him to position you again, then you will come out of the situation you are going into. I want to tell you something. Your sacrifice in this year will speak a lot about you. Take me to Isaiah chapter 38. You're going to take me from verse 1 to 7. In those days was Ezekiah sick unto them. A man called Hezekiah, the Bible said this man was sick unto what? He said, the Bible said, this man was very sick and the sickness would do what? Will we'll kill him, will kill him, he will die. Yes. And Isaiah, the prophet, the son of Amos, came unto him. He said, Isaiah, the son of Amos, Isaiah, the prophet, came to him. And said unto him, Isaiah came to deliver what God has sent him to tell him. God said the Lord, Isaiah said to Hezekiah, the man that we have seen, who everybody has seen that he would die. He said, and Hezekiah, the Lord said, I should tell him. Set thine house in order. He said, prepare your house because something will happen. For thou shalt die. He said, Hezekiah, you will do what? Die. That is forces and not leave. Hello. He said, that is God says who? The Lord. He said, prepare your house. The prophet came and said, the Lord said, I should tell you with that, prepare your house in order. He turned and began to go. Yes, sir. And Ezekiah turned his face towards the wall. When prophet Isaiah spoke to Ezekiah, the Bible said that Ezekiah turned and faced the wall. And prayed unto the Lord. And began to pray to the same God who has sent the prophet. And okay. said, and said, yes, Remember now, O oh Lord. Now hear this. He said, God, remember. Somebody say, remember. remember. I can't hear you. Somebody say, remember. remember. Uh -huh. I beseech thee. Uh -huh. How I am going before thee in truth and with a perfect heart. Understand, on the line these two words. He said, remember how I have walked before thee with a truthful word. Uh huh. With truth and with a perfect heart. Uh -huh. And I've done that which is good in thy sight. Listen, when the Bible said in thy sight, that means in the presence of God, is that correct? There's a guy said, Remember how I have walked with a truthful heart, a perfect heart, in thy sight. How I have served in thy sight. Yes. And Ezekiah, Ezekiah went so. He began to cry. Then came the word of the Lord to Isaiah saying, And the Lord was provoked. And God was provoked. And he spoke to Isaiah again and said something. Go and say to Ezekiah, Go and say to the same man, God says the Lord, God says, The God of David thy father, The God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have heard I have seen thy tears. Behold. Behold. Add on to thy days 15 years. Hear this one. You should understand this mystery. He said, It was God says the Lord you should die. Nothing can change it. There's nobody else you can run to. If God wants to kill you, Satan cannot save you. But if Satan wants to kill you, God can save you. Understand this two mystery. God said, You will die. Prepare your house. It's over. Now, only thing that could have saved him was reminding God of his sacrifice. When you talk about sacrifice in the church, it's not only giving money. That is why I tell people, no matter how rich or poor you are, get to the presence of God in the church, you are nobody. Say you are nobody. So no matter how poor or rich you are, you can get yourself somewhere to serve God. You can do something. Look at the poor by your side. Bless them. Look at what when they clean church, you phone them and clean the church. When they, there is something going on, you'll be part of it. The sacrifice 
you do today can deliver you from death. I have seen men of God pray on some sicknesses and situations, nothing answered, no answer. But if there is a commitment you have made with God and kneel down and cry and remind him what you have done, your answering prayer will come faster than when the pastor is praying for you. Your sacrifice is a tool for you to stay alive. Your sacrifice is your success box that you can open at any time and begin to read for God. What have you done in the house of God? What are you preparing to do? Can you imagine you are going now and I said to you, talk says the Lord, you will die. Some of you will not even, before I will finish it, the thing you will hear is not for me. God didn't talk to him. They will switch it to one way But it would have been your responsibility at that time to go down on your knees and cry to God. And say, God, if I told you I've spoken to my prophet for the purpose that in 2018 I dedicated cleaning this house of God every day. And when people come, they find comfort in worshiping you. For that purpose, answer my prayer. God will reverse it. I have seen him reverse things because of your sacrifices. Can you imagine? He didn't just reverse it. The Bible said, when he said he will not die, he now said, he now gave him assurance of living for 15 years. You know, as you're living now, you're living only with faith. Hello? You're living only with faith. You don't need to die now. You don't need to die tomorrow. You don't need to join us in by next tomorrow. But even as a guy prayed prayer, a prayer, God gave him an assurance of 15 years without harm. You know, from now to December, why did From now to another December, two years. From now, 15 years don't be here. When you have 15 years of an assurance of no sickness, no death, then after the 15 years, anyone you leave, if you see death at the middle, you take up. If you don't see, you take up. But giving you only because he said, God, remember I've served you with my prophet in thy son. He said, hey, uh, go back, go go back. Tell us, hey, you know the that's the first level killer. In fact, then I said, I will now give up my shoulders of 15 good years. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. I see people, they will wait for you to beg them do things for God. Serve God. A part of the working team in the side of God. The same way you hustle for your business. Take time and hustle for God. If you dedicate a sacred Sunday to do this, every Saturday it is for God. For the 365 days, you are working from Monday to Friday, Saturday. Then the day you can come and do something. So people will even be looking at time for their pastor. He's 12. This man should close. From Monday to Saturday, you'll be looking for money. You'll be going for the meeting. Then on that day, they call it the day of worship. Brother, you should not fix meetings on that day. There is something that I was preaching in one of our branches outside. And I said, every time you don't see some members come to church, if you ask them, they say they're going to pay their bills. And, you know, they must have to, and they don't give you time because you must have to work on a Sunday. And I told one of our daughter, I said, have you ever tried this one and pray and say, God, I need a job that will not be, uh, Sunday will not be included so that I can serve you. He said, no, I said, do that prayer. She did that prayer and lost her job and got a new job that Sunday is not included. I don't even talk to you. Ezekiah God's report again was that it was settled and there is now an assurance. There is now an assurance of what? 15 good years. 15 good years. Somebody said 15 good years. I didn't hear some say 15 good years. Continue that in every time. Seven. Let me hear. And the Lord said, And I will deliver thee. See, God said, Because of your sacrifice, He didn't just say, I've given you 15 years assurance. He said, I will deliver thee. Uh -huh. And this city out of thy hand. Because of, only because you came here, 
sat down. He said, I will deliver even the city. Your Out of the hand of the king of Assyria. Out of the hands of your enemies. Can I prophesy to you? May your sacrifice this year never work for you alone. It shall work for your family too. Amen. And I will defend this city. Uh -huh. God said, because of you, I shall defend your city. Verse 7. Uh -huh, last. And this shall be a sign unto thee. And this the shall be a sign unto thee from the Lord. That the Lord will do these things that he has spoken. The Lord will do these things that he has done what? Spoken. Hi.